Intel's second-gen Battlemage B580 brings the power of XE2 architecture, addressing the performance and efficiency gaps of the first-gen Alchemist A580. With smoother gameplay, faster rendering, and improved power management, the Battlemage B580 aims to redefine value for gamers and creators alike. But how much of an improvement are we really looking at? Let's break down the key differences and see what the upgrade brings to the table. Let's start by talking about the design and build of these GPUs. The Battlemage B580 and the Alchemist. A580 have a modern look, but they're built with different priorities in mind. The B580 uses Intel's second generation XE architecture, known as XE2, and it's manufactured on a more advanced TSMC N5 process. On the other hand, the A580 is based on the first-gen XE HPG architecture and uses the slightly older TSMC N6 process. These differences in architecture and process size don't just impact performance, they also affect the size of the GPU die and its overall efficiency. For example, the B580's die is smaller and denser, packing 19.6 billion transistors into a more compact footprint compared to the A580. This improvement helps with heat management and power efficiency, something we'll touch on later. When it comes to external design, both GPUs maintain a contemporary clean look with an emphasis on performance. The B580 features enhanced cooling, with fans designed for optimal airflow and noise reduction, a significant step up from the A580's more traditional design. Both GPUs include RGB elements, with customizable lighting for those who enjoy a bit of flair in their build. For ports, the B580 and A580 are similar in that they offer a flexible selection. The B580 includes HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.1, with support for higher resolutions and refresh rates, while the A580 uses HDMI 2.0b and DisplayPort 2.0. Additionally, the B580 has support for up to four displays, which ensures that multi-monitor setups are well supported. When comparing the Battlemage B580 and the Alchemist A580, the differences in internal specs are crucial in determining their overall performance. Starting with the core architecture, the Battlemage B580 features 20 XE cores and 160 XMX engines while the Alchemist A580 has 24 XE cores and three 84 XMX engines. Although the A580 has more cores, the B580's design is far more efficient, which allows it to deliver better performance per watt. This means that despite fewer cores, the B580 is able to perform at a higher level without consuming as much power. Moving on to clock speeds, the Battlemage B580 boasts a boost clock of 2850 MHz, noticeably higher than the Alchemist A580, which maxes out at 2400 MHz. This higher clock speed of the B580 is converted into better performance, especially in applications that rely on raw clock frequency, like competitive gaming, and tasks requiring fast processing speeds. In terms of memory, the B580 is equipped with 12 GB of GDDR6 memory running on a 192-bit bus with a memory speed of 19 GBPS, whereas the A580 has 8 GB of GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit bus running at 16 GBPS. The B580's faster memory speed and additional VRAM provide a significant advantage in gaming at 1440p and 4K resolutions, as well as for handling larger textures and more demanding workloads. Lastly, when we talk about power consumption, the Battlemage B580 has a total board power of 190 watts, which is slightly higher than the A580's 185 watts. However, the B580 is far more efficient, delivering up to 24% more performance while consuming nearly the same amount of power, leading to lower heat output and quieter operation. In terms of performance, the Battlemage B580 pulls ahead in several key areas. In gaming, especially at higher resolutions like 1440p and 4K, 
The B580 consistently outperforms the A580 by 20 to 30% in popular titles like Cyberpunk 2077 and Fortnite. This is primarily due to the higher clock speeds of the B580, which gives it a clear advantage in demanding gaming scenarios. When it comes to ray tracing, the Battlemage B580 is also great. Both GPUs support hardware accelerated ray tracing, but the B580's upgraded ray tracing units allow it to handle complex lighting and shadow effects much more smoothly. This leads to better frame rates even with ray tracing enabled, giving gamers a more immersive experience without sacrificing visual quality. In rendering and computing tasks, the Battlemage B580 again takes the lead. While the Alchemist A580 has more cores, the B580's more efficient architecture means it delivers better performance per watt, particularly in 3D rendering and AI workloads. In benchmarks like Blender and Unreal Engine, the B580 outperforms the A580 by a significant margin, which offers faster render times and smoother compute performance. The memory and bandwidth performance also favors the Battlemage B580. Although the A580 has a wider 256-bit memory bus, the B580's faster memory, speeds at 19 Gbps, and its extra 12 Gb of VRAM make it the better choice for gaming at higher resolutions and handling larger textures. The extra VRAM also helps future-proof the B580 ensuring it remains capable of handling more demanding games and applications in the years to come. Overall, when comparing the Battlemage B580 and Alchemist A580 in terms of real-world performance, the B580 is the more better choice. Its higher clock speeds, improved power efficiency, better ray tracing performance, and greater memory capacity give it a substantial edge in 1440p and 4K gaming, as well as for rendering and compute tasks. Now, let's talk money. The Battlemage B580 launched at $250, while the Alchemist A580 came in at $179. On paper, that makes the A580 a more budget-friendly option, but the additional $70 for the B580 brings you more memory, better efficiency, and superior performance. For gamers on a tight budget, the A580 is still a favorable choice especially if you're sticking to 1080p gaming. But if you're looking for something that can handle higher resolutions, more demanding games, and future updates, the B580 offers significantly better value for its price. So, which one should you pick? The Alchemist A580 is great if you're upgrading an older system or building on a budget, which offers decent 1080p performance at an affordable price. But if you're aiming for something more powerful and future-ready, the Battlemage B580 is the way to go. Whether it's the higher clock speeds, better memory setup, or improved efficiency, the B580 feels like a card that can keep up with modern gaming needs. Let us know in the comments which one you're leaning toward, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech comparisons like this.